tides. Those mesmerizing rhythmic movements of the ocean are a fascinating natural phenomenon driven by the gravitational pull of celestial bodies, primarily the moon and the sun. They exhibit a surprising variety of patterns, which can be classified into four main types. Spring tides, they're the celestial choreography of perfect alignment. They occurred during the new moon and full moon phases when the gravitational forces of the moon and the sun align. This results in the highest tides and the lowest tides. The celestial duet creates a tidal range at its maximum. On the flip side, during the first and third quarter moon phases, we experience neap tides. At these times, the gravitational forces of the moon and sun partially cancel each other out, leading to the lowest high tides and the highest low tides. It's as if the dancers momentarily pause, resulting in a minimal tidal range. Then there are the rare unique tides, like diurnal tides. These rebel tides only show up once a day, with high tide and one with low tide. They prefer to keep things simple and can be found in specific coastal areas or specific geographical regions. The most common performers are the semi-diurnal tides, gracing us with two high tides and two low tides every day. Their rhythm is synchronized with the moon and sun's gravitational pull, creating the ebb and flow that we often associate with tides. But why do we have these tidal shows in the first place? It's all about gravitational attraction. The moon's gravitational force being closer to Earth is the star of the show. As Earth twirls on its axis, different parts of the planet experience a varying gravitational pull from the moon and the sun. This celestial ballet causes the ocean water to rise and fall in a perpetual cycle. Now, imagine a world without tides. The oceans would be very still, eerily still. They would lack the enchanting rise and fall of sea levels. Tides play an indispensable role in coastal ecosystems. High tides bring more water close to the shore, replenishing intertidal habitats and influencing nutrient mixing and sediment transport. Low tides, on the other hand, expose tidal flats, granting access to seafood like clams and crabs. However, tides are a double-edged sword. High tides can lead to coastal erosion, and low-lying areas often face the threat of flooding during extreme tides. These tidal dynamics also impact marine ecosystems, influencing the distribution and behavior of species. Tides even have some Truly peculiar aspects. In certain rivers, powerful tidal waves known as tidal bores flow upstream. This defies conventional river currents. The moon is tidally locked to Earth, always showing the same face to our planet, a result of tidal forces. Tides aren't just about oceans. They affect the Earth's crust and groundwater, causing tiny daily changes in the planet's shape, believe it or not. Some artists have used tidal data to create unique musical compositions where the rising and falling tides correspond to changes in musical notes and rhythms. And interestingly, tides are not limited to Earth. Other celestial bodies, like Jupiter's moon Io, experience extreme tidal effects. And surfers, surfers in regions like the UK's Severn Bore and the Amazon River in Brazil, catch waves created by tidal bores for an adventurous ride. These strange and intriguing facets of tides remind us of the beauty and complexity of our natural world. These are Interesting Things with J.C.